It's finally D-Day. Diablo 3 is coming out today. Uh, we're in Stockholm where uh, Blizzard sent out a couple of their employees to, to uh, celebrate the launch here at the official launch event in Stockholm. And we caught up with Noel here who's uh, actually heading up the, the cinematics production director on that. And I think everyone is, you know, everyone loves the Blizzard cinematics. So. First of all, could you tell us a little bit of how the process has been like working on the cinematics for, for Diablo 3? Well, it's a fantastic process. And of course, the first thing that we're going to do is get in there and work with the game team early to try and understand like where's the best place to place the cinematic within the game, um, several cinematics, and how do those um, really advance storytelling. So that's the most important thing for us is where we're going to place the cinematics, what part of the story we're going to highlight with the cinematics. So we'll work really closely with the game directors, with the writers, with Chris Metzen, our lead creative um, executive, to try and uh, find that perfect story to tell. Mm. Yeah, uh, Diablo 3 has been in the works for a long, long time. So how, how has this process been like? Has it changed a lot over the years? Or has, have you had sort of the same sort of red thread to follow uh, all, all the way? Well, in terms of making cinematics, um, that process did start quite some time ago. Um, but the actual manufacturing process, or the production process, um, we actually finished within the last couple of years. So um, while the process has evolved a lot and technology has continued to improve a lot, um, the cinematics, is kind of as they move through story, you just do so many iterations. So, you know, you start with storyboards and, um, well, of course, it's done digitally now, but, if, you know, it, it still looks like it's drawn with pencil and paper. Um, and then as you kind of go through, you work with your art department, you work with modeling, you work with animation. It's sort of like you make the same movie over and over and over again until you get to that final finished process. So you, we, even though it's been in production for a very long time, those individual stages, um, need, none of them actually last that long once you get to those individual stages. So uh, I would assume that, that working on this is actually much more relaxed than working on, say, say a big movie because then you have sort of it's a, it's a very much a shorter time span that you're working on the actual product. And I is that true? Um, parts of it are true and parts of it are not. I mean, the game is such a um, an enormous universe to play in. So you have so much more material to work with. Um, so it's just kind of depending on what part of that process you're going to work on. It still takes us, um, I would say, between 12 to 18 months to make a cinematic. Um, but we're really looking at sort of a highly, we would call it hyper-realistic, um, very high-end texturing, um, that the details really are there to tell the story, draw the player in. So we spend a lot of time on those things. Um, so those can actually take a fairly long time to do. So how, how big is the cinematics team? And do you work on all the, the, the products that Blizzard come out with? Yes, the cinematics team works on all the IPs. Um, and we are a fairly large team, over 100 people. So the, um, if we have a lot of Cinemax in production, the team will divide up and work on, in different areas, or we'll try and stack the schedules so that as we move through story, concepting and modeling on one cinematic, then we have the next one ready to go into story. So it kind of moves through. Um, but every now and then we'll end up with several Cinemax in production all at once. Um, and then we'll sort of all dogpile on it and, and divide it up. So, but I guess then it's very important to keep the, the sort of specific style of each of the, the IPs intact. Yes, um, there's an individual director, an art director for each of the cinematics. So um, in this particular case, Nick Carpenter directed the Diablo cinematics. Chris Tunig was the art director for the cinematics team. So they worked with the game team. Christian Lickner is the art director for the Diablo game team. So uh, Chris Tunig would go and work with him and they would interpret that style of Diablo into the cinematics. Uh, so there are a very dedicated team um, for each cinematic at that level. So I guess I guess I couldn't. This interview wouldn't be complete without asking you how it feels to be on this day. Finally arrived. Diablo three is here. It is extremely exciting. Um, we're we're super jazzed that the cinematic is now going to be hands in the players, and um, we're really looking forward to seeing what they think about it. Um, it's just great to be able to share it. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.